Welcome to a Time Well Wasted Podcast with your host, Matt Daddy. I surrender. Here's my butthole. Mr. J. Yo, give me your bread. The Ginger. No, no, no. Bend her over this way. And Timbo Slice. I got a butt light. Enjoy the show. Gentlemen, I want to ask you guys a question, okay? Hypothetically speaking, okay, whether you committed a crime or whether you didn't, let's say your ass is getting locked up for five years. Okay, you're going to jail. Now, what's running through your mind? I want to know what type of person you would be in prison. Okay. Would you survive? Mr. J, we'll start with you. What's going on? So, I think I would try to, like, keep my cool and maybe try to assert some dominance, but I just got this feeling I'm going to end up basically being people's bitch or somebody's <laughs> bitch. Yeah. I'm either going to be the community bitch or someone <laughs> specifically's bitch. Wait, so people are going to share you? Yeah, it could happen, man. <laughs> like, I'm the guy who drops the soap. And it will be on accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah fun, you are so. that guy. Today yeah, sure. you are owned by Bubba. Tomorrow yeah. by Frank. Yeah, I can't even walk yeah. right. Like they got to carry me. around. Yeah, so if I'm an inmate with you, I'm going to yeah. be that guy that's trying to be close with you. Because if you're everybody's bitch, I got chances. See, of not I'll being have all the inside bitch. information if I have everyone's bitch, right? So, right. or just their dicks. I'll just have everyone's dicks. Either or. <laughs> so <laughs> now, now would you would you try to get one of those jobs in prison? Like, would you be like a dishwasher or like a guy who tars the roof? I'm only citing Shawshank Redemption. Definitely, here. because I think it would help pass the time. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you're in there for five years, right? Yeah, man. Obviously, you're shit. I would actually try to get some education. So fuck yeah. <laughs> what are they going to teach you? <laughs> how to suck dicks. How not to rob? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How to suck? Yeah. 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 This is how the proper way to steal a TV. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to teach you today how not to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Timbo Slice, what's up, man? What, what do you think? What would you be in prison? Um. I don't think I'd do very well in prison, to be honest. Uh, I'd probably just kind of keep to myself and uh, try to do my time and try not to uh, draw any attention to myself. So you're that guy who the roommate wants nothing to do with, obviously, because you're laying under your bed. You, you, would, do you just give them both beds? You just, <laughs> <laughs> you just hide under the one bed and you're like, he's like, man, there's you two beds here. It. You can you, have you both. You push them together. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to... Yeah. I'd Here, take my pillow, down. too. <laughs> yeah, you get everything. I'll sleep on the floor. You know what? I'd probably just play really cool. If he said, I got two, I got the, both these bunks, I'd probably just say, that's cool. I'll just sleep on the, on the floor. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, Can I at you least know, have a blanket? <laughs> but there might come a time where I might get comfortable and I start, just like when you start anything, like you're not comfortable at first, but then after a little bit of a while, you're just like, man, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I got this thing where like I'd see security coming up and, They'd throw some a meal underneath your door. <laughs> Would, does your roommate just eat both meals? Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, no, nah, man, take it. Take Yo, it. give me your bread. Yeah. <laughs> bend over when you let it. Ginger Badger, what's going on? What do you think? You see, I'd probably jump the ranks as high as I can. I'd become the prison pimp. <laughs> okay. I would make you all my bitches, pimp you out. So yeah, don't go respect. to jail at the same time as you. So right? basically, I'm getting pimped out. I'm going to be fucked anyways. If I go <laughs> yeah, to jail exactly. on my own, if I go to jail, Ryan, I'm going to be somebody's bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no chance of survival. And I feel the same way. Like, Yeah. I, I'm not built for prison, man. No, no way. I can't do it. No, I'd walk in there and you know what I mean? I'm walking down that hall when you have all the jail cells. Yeah. And then the guys are like all banging on the cells and they're yeah. talking. And I'm like, yep. Yeah. I would just drop the pants yeah. then and be like, yeah. look at it, boys. Yeah, This is what you're going to so, get. Here's my defense mechanism, right? I'm just never going to wipe my ass after I shit. So they're, they're, <laughs> to me. they're, gonna like, they're like, oh, it's full. It just stank. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, a, that's dude, my defense. that's a classy. You yeah, have shit ass for five years. Yeah. So, Matt, your strategy is to go into jail. And instead of punching the biggest guy, you're going to whip out your dick. <laughs> yeah, so and you're just going to go <laughs> balls deep. Yeah. As soon as you walk through the Basically door. what he does in real life. Yes. Yeah. Outside yes, of jail. man. Listen, I'm either sucking or I'm getting fucked. <laughs> okay, I understand my role in prison. Get okay, busy I, dying, I'll I'm get busy I'm going in there, I'm thinking prison. I'm like, all right, man. He's we got sucking these. and getting fucked at the same time. <laughs> we got 250-pound black guys. They've been in here for 10 years. They've been weight, weightlifting this they whole use time. use their dicks as hammers. Here comes this 160-pound white boy. <laughs> like, oh my God. They're going to be like, wow, I'm pretty sure last night's dinner was bigger than yeah. that fucker. He uses you as a toothpick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Okay, so the general consensus here is obviously other than Ryan here, Ginger Badger, that he's gonna pimp us out. We're bitches, Ryan's our pimp. Okay, so yeah. let me ask you a quick question here, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Say you go to jail by yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Who are you pimping out at that point? Yeah. Are you gonna find like the little Mexican kid or like the, the small Asian guys? Si, or si, something? Right, would be your bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. I'd find anyone that doesn't speak English, make them my bitch. Away you go. How would you make them your bitch? <laughs> oh, it's just sweet little bitch. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, O'Brien. Oh, 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 You're me. my bitch now. Hold my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the pocket yeah. trick. It gets me every time. <laughs> Dude, all the whole person's confused. Like, why does he keep asking us to hold his pocket? Like, I don't get it. All right. So, so on, on the same ki- kind of topic here, okay? Uh, being, you know, isolated, something you would never expect. Say you were dumped and stranded on an island. Okay, say let's say you got stumped, stranded, no form, no way of getting off. You're mm-hmm. all alone. Could you survive? And what's your game plan? And we'll go with uh, Ginger Badger here first. Well, yeah, I mean, I watch a lot of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, you, if you've ever watched that show. What are you, a sexual predator? I suggest, <laughs> I suggest you watch that show. It's incredible. You learn a lot. But definitely, I would, I'd be able to survive. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, what, what's your plan? So, okay. What, what's the first thing going through your mind? You're on this island. Let's say you know you got sedated. You wake up. You're like, where the fuck am I? Yeah, Holy shit! What's your first thing you do? You gotta get your bearings. Find okay. Where you're at, then find a safe spot and start uh, building a shelter. Search get the island, fire. man. Yeah, shelter and fire first. That's your that's your best way of survival. Okay. Next day, then you go collect your food and water. What what type of food are we collecting, and how are we getting it? Well, see, that's where the type of island comes into play you okay can, so you can anything start, goes anything you could yeah you could start off with your uh vegetation there's lots of stuff out there that you can eat vegetation you're just gonna like eat grass like trees yep. Yep. grass <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, i'm eating nom. bark get that to start until <laughs> you can gather the supplies to make weapons to catch animals and then go from so there. ginger badger here if we threw his ass on an island he would survive i would timbo slice i'm throwing you out of a plane you're waking up on an island are you going to make it? Wait, if you're throwing him out of a plane, he's not surviving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even get a shoe. They're, they're telling me on the plane, they're like, why don't you think he'll survive? Yeah. I forgot to give him a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I gave him water wings. <laughs> Tim, you wake up on an island. What do you think? I think the first thing I would do is scream my head off, run up and down the beach, sob to myself in the corner somewhere, and then... Okay, so you're freaking out, and you're yeah, trying I'm to see if out. anybody's on the island. People can hear you. That, that's your approach. Like, is there anybody else here? No, with you? no, nobody can hear me, and and that's part of the problem. Like, I have no means of being here. I should not be here. I'm gonna freak. Okay, what's your next plan of attack? Um, after I'm done crying, you mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll cry. cry the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been I'm just, he I'm keep it. crying. He plans on drinking his tears. <laughs> He has hydrated. enough intelligence to make paper and a pencil, <laughs> yeah. and he's logging day two, 235. I'm running out of tears and Still salt. Cr- <laughs> no, my I'm, eyes are drier than mom's He's vagina. finding the Wait. closest volleyball making Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tim, ultimately, do you feel you could survive on an island by yourself um, with no means of escape, and you have to figure it out? And honestly, I think I'd, I'd do okay. Um, I'm not no expert, obviously, uh, but I think I could, I could do okay for a little while. I could probably find food and make a shelter and try to. Yeah, make but a fire. what what if food's finding you? Oh, then I'm fucked. <laughs> what if you? <laughs> so that's back this, to thing. Like you got to create weapons and stuff. But I'm thinking, okay, you're on an island. You don't know what's there, man. You could be gorillas, rhinos, fucking. That's why bears. I know what I'm doing first. Like, well, well, what if they're hunting you? And what do you got? Your fists? That's what. No, nobody no. talked about a weapon here yet. So just so want to know what's going on. That's where the fire comes in play, guys. You get you get a fire started. They're not going to come near you. I got the most important thing here before any of that. First thing I'm doing that when I get to the lion is jerking off because if there is a lion, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna come and eat me. Yeah. And at least I'll know I got that one last nut in before I die. <laughs> well, I woke up. Yeah, I noted it in my log yeah. here. I jerked off first thing on the day. You guys might survive longer, but I busted a nut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. tried to fuck that lion. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, Mr. J. So, so let's talk about that a little bit. Yep. Your ass wakes up on an island. Your first plan of attack is to jerk off. Probably not, because I'll probably be traumatized, but I yeah. guarantee you, at some point on that you island, know. I'm jerking off. Yeah, two yeah. weeks go by, you're like, you know what, yeah, fuck it. Fuck. Yeah. I'll jerk off right out in the, Dude, on the beach Dude, it would be like a, like a celebratory jerk off, because yeah, I survived two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I'm going yeah. to whack it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I would probably search the island first thing, see whatever supplies I can find. Hopefully, I don't find a skeleton of someone else who got straight. It's you guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know much about survival, but I try my best, and I think I do all right, depending yeah, and see, and, okay, so this is and where definitely I come make in a weapon for because sure. yeah, we all live some classy lives where we get shelter and we don't have to worry. Dude, we're about, in a utopia, yeah, wild animals, and we get money and jobs and all this stuff. But I, f- I think about the time where I, if I were to wake up on an island, I'd be like, "Fuck me, 
this is not happening right now. Yeah. There's no goddamn way. But yeah, you know, we've all watched the Discovery Channel. We've all watched, you know, How to Survive. I'd be looking for a stick and somehow try to chew the end off into a spear. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I'd be hoping all I find is squirrels because I don't want to run into a yeah, bear. Try spearing fish. Learn how to drink your own pee. Yeah, you know what I mean? And what then, do you mean learn? Fuck. I, you haven't done that yet? <laughs> yeah. Knowing me, I'd probably shoot for a cave, but then I know every goddamn big ass animal yeah. like Bigfoot lives in a fucking yeah. cave. So. Oh, great. <laughs> King Kong's in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm probably going to say I'm not going to survive. You just made me think of something. What okay. about if you were on that island and you found aboriginals? Ooh. You know, oh, what I'm man. Saying? And then they're like, they don't even speak English and they're just going to fucking shit up. Or maybe okay, they so, take you in and help so you. So we've talked about this before. Yeah, like those, those on those islands. islands. Yeah, man. Yeah. Where. There's a heritage that people don't even go to discover because... They, f- every time they go, they get attacked. Yeah. Spears Researchers go to try to get... But they never come back. And uh, Timbo. So we have did some research on these islands where there's actually man-made live there. And people don't understand or know their heritage because when they go there, they never make it home. Yeah, they yeah, end up dying video on, on that. Island. Yeah, because yeah. there's like aboriginals there. So, so let's say your ass gets thrown on it. Now they got spears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? They're like, you free don't. meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The white man come. Yeah. <laughs> So do you do what they they tell you to do, or you kind of try to cooperate? Well, you, or do you they're not going to know English. Yeah, that's no, I mean that's what I mean. Like, do you try to cooperate and kind of do or go wherever they yes, tell you to go? Because there's or a lot. Or of them. do you just say fuck it? I'm fucked anyway. No. So might as well just. This is where you try to become their god. I make fire. Bring yeah. it later. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that too, because the only, you, there's no communication there. Nope. I mean, you're going to look at these things, and they're like, oh, gee, my... I'm oh, oh, the, God, the, ah, the, yeah, and you're just like, I surrender. Here's yeah. my butthole. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, Not every culture wants to rape you with the butt. <laughs> yeah, but I feel they do. Oh, great, I'm in prison again. Dude, this, I'd this rather be raped is, than killed. Yeah. This you know what? I'd rather be stranded on an island than ass. prison. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, okay, so... Other than Ginger Badger for everything. Apparently, he would survive everything. He would either yeah. pimp us out or... <laughs> even on the island, he'd pimp us out if we all got Hey, at least there. he's humble. <laughs> the, the joys of not having a soul, right? <laughs> the thing is, is, is I don't picture this being surrounded on an island as in like a one-day or a two-week thing. Like, let's say yeah. you're there for five years. Could you survive? Do you feel in five years' time... Tom Hanks did. You're still... Yeah. Well, honestly... Yeah. Yeah. So, so did the volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> well, son! Yeah. You would become so accustomed to that island in the way that... Yeah, if you live on there. That five years would be nothing mm-hmm. after, say, like it's a part of your life. You'd, yeah, exactly. The after island would essentially weeks, institutionalize. Yeah, you after basically. four weeks, you you basically come up with a day to day routine that you'd be able to survive. Probably a great way to lose weight. Yeah. But I think you'd be miserable as hell. So oh, you, your life yeah, would be man. terrible only because let's say you've lived twenty five years of it. Guys, no, think uh, about it. Uh, no porn. It. No, no bills, <laughs> no job, just yeah. you surviving just by yourself. Buy, no, buy no bears, yeah. your stars, yeah. aboriginals, your cold disease. Oh, great scorpions! Your <laughs> hand, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to eat a scorpion. Yeah. You have your hand to help push you without having to hear them bitch and yeah. complain. Yeah, yeah, but, but no. what about born up? <laughs> <laughs> Make your own. Draw it in the I mean, sand. You get a plane that comes by and it's got a, a screen on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a triple X video plane. Yeah. By. You're just like, oh, slow it's down. Of, oh, instead of I SOS. can't finish before it flies by. <laughs> instead of an SOS in the sand, it's send nudes. <laughs> yeah. you, draw, you draw a woman yeah, in the like sand that. and you put like little stone boobs on her and you get like these, in the sand. You get these genie bottles yeah. <laughs> wash up on shore and they're like naked pictures of people. <laughs> <laughs> Tim brings up a good point. You'd have to like you know, like draw your own pornos in the yeah. sand. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, oh, the water comes and washes away. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you're oh. really wet. Oh, yeah. Sandy, you're looking pretty good today, Sandy. Yeah, it gives a whole new meaning to Sangina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're gonna get we're gonna wet. we're gonna switch topics here. Um, kind of kind of similar, but I want to ask you guys. So, if we're stranded on the island. Technically, we're broke. Okay, <laughs> yeah. money, we, 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 we got no down, money, yeah. so. Yeah, I want to ask you guys, to date, in your lifetime, what's the weirdest thing you guys have had to eat because you're broke? Oh. So what is the weirdest thing you've ever had or the weirdest, the lowest part in your life because you just couldn't afford it or you just had to do what you had to do? Oh, I got this All right. right. We're going to go, hold on, Timbo Slice. He was pretty confident here. Let's go, Timbo. What do you got? Uh, For a little while there, I was on welfare and uh, didn't get a lot of money or anything. Just had enough to pay rent. So I look into my cupboard and... There is a bag of sugar in there. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all that's in the cupboard. I look in the fridge, and all there is is a tub of butter. No, oh. my sugar body butter. is screaming <laughs> at me that it needs something. It needs some sort of nutrition. <laughs> I'm absolutely. I like where this is going. 
So, I made uh, butter sugar balls. And, <laughs> ate, and, and I ate that. And you know what? Oh, man. It this did the trick for the time being. You had to do what you have to do, right? And I think that was a low point in my my, in my life. And then you had yeah, a, probably a ridiculous okay, shit. Okay, that is so definitely low. Before point. we jump to the other guy, I want to top on this here a little bit. Um, uh, butter sugar ball. Okay, butter so, sugar so, balls. so what do you do? You take a, a teaspoon out of the, uh, the drawer, right? Yeah, you and take you, a teaspoon and you scoop some butter. Yeah, how you big You roll it between your hands. Oh, oh you, it's, you're rolling a butter yeah, ball. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Timbit size. And your hands... Your palm so was the butter like cold it. before? And then you <laughs> roll it. In, then you, you pour some sugar onto a plate and you roll it around on the sugar and you just pop it in your mouth. Ugh, okay, cool. now now how many of these? It's in probably one, good. How many of these in one sitting? You know, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions after this. Yeah, but no, how many cool. of these in one sitting would you make? Is it one butter ball? Or are we talking like ten to fifteen? I made about four. <laughs> okay, yeah, because that's yeah. all the butter you could probably eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, your body'd be like just you know, but, pumping shit out. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you can only drink so much water, and when you're out of money and you don't have any food, and hey, your broke, pride broke, tells yeah. you that you cannot go to anybody because you got to do it on your own, live or die. You know, I did what I had to do. Okay, so props, man. How? Yes, congratulations on being the best broke person. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> genius. Yeah. Yeah. I would have never. Yeah, do butter yeah. sugar balls. <laughs> sugar. I'd rather eat my own. Dude, shit. you just came up with a new Christmas treat. <laughs> like, yeah. Now, one more question, Timbo. Here, um, how how long did this go on for? Like, would you do this daily? No, how does it, this it wasn't for very long. Uh, just not to tie me over. Uh, luckily, I had some good friends, and they invite me over, and you know. Give me something to eat or something like that. Mm-hmm. Not because I would broke or it said that I was broke or anything like that. Just when I go over, it's good nature that my friends. It would suck if you did go to a friend's house, though, and they're like, yeah, I got some food for you. What I did is I took these balls of butter, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, man. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Again. Yeah. It's like, no, I had a deep fryer and a ball of butter. A deep fryer. Mm. I can oh, never eat the ball of butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Badger. All What's right. the weirdest thing you've ever ate while being broke? Well, I'm definitely not as weird as Tim over there. I feel like it'd be 300 pounds if I ate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it went straight to the you ass. With a heart attack. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, it'd be uh, bread ripped up in milk and sugar. Okay. If it works, it works. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So so basically, loaf of bread, or yep. the end of the loaf. You're probably yep. talking the ends because yep. that's all you got left. <laughs> exactly. And what are you doing, dipping it in the milk? No, you rip it up. You put it in a bowl. You pour the milk over it, just like cereal. So you're just having soggy ass bread. <laughs> yeah, with sugar on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm like soggy cereal, but with yeah. bread. It, All right, oh man. My, wow. Here, here is milky mush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it almost yeah. feels like it's like See, you know you, you go to pull that out and it's like pouring. <laughs> on those on those lucky days, you are lucky to have the brown sugar there because it tastes so much better than white sugar. Oh yes. yeah, no need to be racist. Uh, <laughs> yep. And uh, same question as Tim is: Is this a three three time a day meal? Like, is this like? Eh, is yeah. it the one and done? Like he could do four balls and then that was it. Yeah, it'd be how one many a day. bowls of one bread a day to you get you through? One a day. When you're broke, you're broke. You're broke. Man. You get you, do you like gingers you are weird yeah. like that. Fucking I get you, <laughs> Mr. J. What's up? Okay, so I can't think of a weird food story I've had, or like where I've had a broke food story, but I do have a really funny drunk food story involving my brother. Fair enough. Fair Uh-oh. enough. Okay, so my eldest brother, right? One time he was telling me that. He came home drunk as fuck from a party or from the bar or whatever. But unbeknownst to him, the morning before, my parents had cooked a bunch of bacon for like a family get together. They kept all the bacon grease in this pot and they put it in the fridge. And so my brother comes home that night drunk as hell. He's like, fuck, I need something to eat. He sees this bowl of bacon grease in the fridge and he cooks it and puts crackers in it and eats it like soup. <laughs> oh. The funniest part though is he's like, okay, but is that gross? Or is that good? Are well, here's the thing. The funniest part is John was like, honestly, it was like, some of the best soup I've ever ate. So, he ate a bowl of bacon grease. I actually don't think that I would not enjoy that. No. I think that I would enjoy that very much. Probably not the best for you. You think but you'd I would, feel it after a couple great. bites, though? Like yeah, yeah third that, or fourth be bite, your heart's just Pure like grease. Stop it. So think about this though. When wow. he went to microwave it, it was just like rock hard in the bowl, right? <laughs> and then he had to like nuke now, it. To- now he's obviously pretty fucked, right? Like he's he's clearly intoxicated at this. point. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's. Yeah, no idea what's going. Now, did he make it to the end? Like, I don't did, know. I did didn't he eat the whole thing. Much or... This was years and years ago, yeah. like in his teens. Knowing who we're talking about, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that he did yeah. make it to the end <laughs> because that's something you would do. It's probably something he does regularly. Yeah, now. Exactly. yeah. he cooks bacon grease and has it as soup. Uh, honestly, guys, so mine—it's definitely not as bad. I think 
Tim wins. Uh, yeah. Tim, Tim, yeah. Uh, you. We've decided who's been the brokest here. <laughs> 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 because you win in that category. Mother, Ryan, yeah. you're a close runner-up. I'm right behind you here. Uh, the worst thing I've ever done is just cook noodles and no sauce, nothing, and just eat noodles. Like that's Mr. not that bad. Yeah, yeah not not even Mister Noodle. Like I used to like because noodles you can get like you know you can get pasta noodles for like a dollar or a, for a full bag. Yep, but yeah. I would just cook noodles and then just eat noodles. And people do that naturally. But that's the brokest I've ever got where I couldn't even get sauce on the fucking. <laughs> for some reason, I had butter though. For some reason, I'm picturing <laughs> I could have buttered it. You could put some butter on there. You good? Yeah, <laughs> I'm picturing you eating them non cooked like spaghetti noodles. Like <laughs> you know, like, just, like <laughs> yeah. strands of spaghetti noodles. Yeah. Never, never have I ever. I will say that. Uh, so while we're talking about being broke, though, we're gonna we're gonna switch gears here. And oh. Tim Timbo, since you're uh, the new guest tonight, hey. we're gonna talk about you had a job interview today. I did. And uh, since Would you're broke now, this job interview is gonna hopefully help you not be broke. Yeah. And you were trying to be uh, what I got written down here to become a lesbian. Uh, yeah, true? that's <laughs> that's my lifelong goal. But I need money for the sex change. Didn't you get fired for that already? For one for, to be a lesbian, you got fight. You got fight, dude. He brings in carpet samples. You look at how good I can munch this rug. <laughs> They're like, oh, please do. Well, I already feel look, like this is I am a lesbian trapped in a man's body. Nice. We all are. Nice. <laughs> but on a side note, you had a job interview today. I did. What's your vibe? Do you think you're gonna get the job? What's going uh, on? I have a good feeling about it. Uh, you know, it was very. It went very well. Uh, had a factory tour and. Uh, Ooh, if they gave you the tour, man. That's a good sign. Yeah, because I yeah. think why would they waste their time giving you the tour if they didn't plan on hiring you? Already? Was the tour after or before the interview? After. Oh, good sign. That's good. Yep. That a boy. I was trying to tell Timbo on the way here. His broke ass had to give him a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, by the way. <laughs> but I was trying to tell him because you know he talked about all this, and I said, why would they waste their time? Because if I'm a boss. Right, and you can judge right away. Yeah, let's say Ginger Badger. I'm I'm interviewing. I'm not going to spend the time after to show him the whole plan because mm-hmm. that's wasting time out of my day. When I could show him the building if Ooh, I know I'm going to. Yeah, hide. it depends though. There's some bosses who really like to show off what they got, right? Yeah, regardless of hiring. Sure. No, hey. I'm trying to scare you. I no, I'm or confident you got. He could have went down the road like you know what? I want to waste time on my own, and I know oh, I yeah. can last an hour of time yeah. wasting. Now we're not trying no, to we discourage you hey, here, no, Timbo. I'm all good. <laughs> but your vibe? What do you think? Do you like the atmosphere? Yeah, actually, it's a very good atmosphere. Everybody's, when I was walking through the plan, when I was getting the tour, everybody's kind of fist bumping each other and giving each other high fives. And this I thought, good. man, this place is great. Company fisting. That's yes. good, man. Fisting turns into circle jerking. Yeah. And then back to fisting. What probably. kind of company is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, hands on company. Can you get me a job there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'll bring Luke. Put in a good word. Yeah, okay, so just to wrap this up, did they say they were going to call you back or they'll let you know? Is it via email? Uh, like, what's going it on? It was uh, kind of cliffhanger. Uh, you know, I had the interview and he said, all right, you know, here's a rundown. Here's uh, the things that we got to do before, you know, and uh, had the tour. And he said, uh, after the tour, then you just sign out and, you know, you can be on your way. So it just kind of dropped off mm. from there. So I don't really know. What's going on there? Do you exactly. know if there was other people that got interviewed at the uh, same time as you? I'm assuming you're either or you're, inter- before. Or okay, same time. okay, I was the only one there uh, the whole time, so, so that's not that's bad. It's hard man. to know. You know, if I'm the only one, then bada bing, bada boom. Man. I got bada a good bing, feeling for you, man. Yeah, no, and I, I was telling him this on the way here. I I feel it's in because it only makes sense why they would do that. Yeah, I have uh, a good feeling about it too. Fingers crossed, brother. We're counting on this. Uh, I hope the best for you, obviously, right? Thank you. Um, yeah, now you can give Matt his rent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You owe me 20 Skrillet. Yeah. Yeah, so get that fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skrillet. Uh, okay, so, guys, big time switch gears here. I want to ask you guys, has your parents ever been this savage? Okay, so I'm going to read a little quote here from a little thing that this I, is I exciting. heard today. Okay, so... A young girl, Nicole, and her boyfriend recently had broken up, and while she was upstairs sulking on the situation, she received this text message from her dad. Nicole, could you please turn up your sad music? We can still hear you crying. And shut up already. David was ugly. She replied, I'm not crying. Now, the, the question here is, have you ever had your parents been this savage over a breakup, or, or were they supportive? How, how are your parents involved in, in relationships? We'll, we'll start with Mr. J. 
My parents have never been that savage. Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal, yeah, no. man. Yeah. That is pretty yeah. brutal. I feel bad yeah. for Nicole. The worst my dad did was like my first break. He was like, well, you learned a lesson. Love sucks. Go to the store and get me some beer. <laughs> so that yeah. was pretty much it for yeah. my dad. Yeah. Nothing that savage, man. Yeah. Oh. They, he, fuck. Nicole's dad. She's pretty. Turn yeah. up your, your music, your sad music, because <laughs> I can hear you crying. <laughs> He's like downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, Nicole. Yeah. And then and then at the end, I love this part. It shut up already. David was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, David. coming from the dad. Yeah. <laughs> he was dumb anyways. Yeah, yeah fuck David. Timbo Slice. Are your parents savage? No, my parents aren't savage. Uh, my dad was a workaholic. My mom was uh, just a housewife. Uh, she just took too busy to take care of the house. Uh, when I was in a relationship, you know, didn't really talk about it too much. I just kind of kept to myself and dealt with it. So they were supportive. They, they uh, yeah, they were supportive. obviously they knew that you weren't with so and so. Oh they, yeah, they weren't. Dicks. When they stopped yeah. around, they <laughs> yeah. figured it out. Like, hey Tim, by the way, you still owe me twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you telling that as a roommate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and no <laughs> at the same time okay so so far uh no savagery going on between oh. you two guys ginger badger uh explain your situation yeah i really can't say they were too bad i mean there was a girlfriend that i had they didn't like so they grounded me for the summer until i broke up with her oh that's, wow. that's pretty okay. harsh actually. okay so what tell, tell us a little bit more about this what yeah. how did that come up they so Do she did not get along with my sister. They always, my parents chose my sister's side, obviously. So it was you Yikes. break up with her or you're grounded for the summer. That's pretty intense, man. Yeah. Okay, and, so well, but get this now. Wow. Now, even though I was grounded, I didn't break up with her. However, they kept trying to set me up with another girl. <laughs> Why didn't they <laughs> like her? <laughs> wow and wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't they like her? Her and my sister did not get along. Ew. Okay, yeah. so family sticking I together, obviously. Out. So your parents. We're savage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that because they forced you to break up with her in a sense. They were going to ground you. They did ground you. Yeah. yeah. So, so end result, what happened? So end result, uh, we did break up. Um, I did try with the girl they did try to set me up with. Uh, That didn't work out. Did it ever work out? Thanks, Dad. When your parents set you up? No, like, okay, so I got to ask, how, how old were you in this day? Because up. you're not in your 20s at this day. No. You got to be like early teens, man, I was, to, uh, to get grounded. I was 16. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Mom and Dad no Sega. <laughs> no yeah. Sega. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. to hoe. <laughs> I, would imagine, yeah. I would imagine you have different objectives, uh, different goals that your parents have when they set you up with a woman. You're a young teen. I'm pretty sure you have a different sight. Of my what parents you're have never for. tried to set me up. I, I don't think I could <laughs> yeah. do it I mean, because I look at my mom. I'm like, mom, dad, like, there's no way your taste is on par from what I want. You <laughs> oh, guys are living yeah, in the, the 80s and want, 70s. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's no way, man. You're, I'm gonna look at it, like that chick's got a mustache, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this, this girl was pretty good looking, man. She was, uh, but the thing is, like, she was um, the sister. So my cousin. Who is so close? She she lived with us, so she was technically my older my older sister. She mm-hmm. she lived with us for many years, so I considered my sister. Now she was dating this girl's brother, so they were trying to set me up with to kind of keep it in that family. Oh, I think. Yes. But she she was a good looking girl, very good looking. How come it didn't work out? Was was it was it the family? Did you ultimately side with them and then bust ties, or was it? You know what? I'm just done with you. Yeah. Did you like realize your family was right? Or yeah, that's what I want to know. Ugh. Interesting story. That you yeah, it was. So at first, I kind of fought it. Like I did not want to break up with her. But then, when they introduced me to this girl, I was like, oh, she's kind of better. You know, I was like, so let's go the better route. Let's see what's out there. But in the end, nothing worked out. I was single in the end. Love will get you. Nope. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, for those who know my dad, <laughs> he is a uh, <laughs> very interesting character. And uh, I wouldn't say they were savage. My mom's a very quiet person, okay? So my mom doesn't say more than hi and hello. I think I've heard her say okay. five words. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she so was last with any girlfriend I've ever had, <laughs> they never have a relationship with my mom. Well played, by the way. I'm just picking that up now, but well played. He subtly snuck that in. Yeah, there. I know. It's very, very secure. Yeah. I, my nipple's tweaked there a little bit like I could feel him twisting them but anyway feel violated my mom never had a relationship with any of my girlfriends obviously but my dad did obviously which is weird right okay I'm gonna go ahead and say that my dad had relationships with my my girlfriends but 
Whenever I had problems, my mom would be like, it's okay, bud. There's plenty of fish in the sea. My dad would be <laughs> like, you know what, bud? You really just got to understand the situation. <laughs> you don't try to hit me with all this knowledge. And I'd be like, what do you mean? He's like, well, back in my day, you know what I mean? When chicks didn't want nothing to do with you, you just go to their friends. <laughs> Thanks, like, Dad. I mean, yeah, I'm like, uh, so... This doesn't help me in my situation yeah. right now. Like, But I do like her. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, what you need to do is you need to talk to her friends because she's going to hate that. She's going to want to not know that you're talking to her friends. I'm like, I don't want to do that, man. Like, I don't want her friends. I want her, man. You know what I mean? I'm getting all... But my dad would always be like that. He'd be like, you know what I mean? You just got to go to the source, bud. You want to get back at her? Like, he'd always be ready to take that knife out and just stab her in the back. It's like... I want you to help me get her back or Your support. dad's like the drunk Obi-Wan Kenobi yeah. of dating advice. Yeah. And he's like, well, if she don't want you back, then fuck her. I wouldn't date you either. He, <laughs> he would say, <laughs> I could see your dad yeah, saying He that. would say stuff like that and he'd be like, man, fuck this. Um, so you, yeah, you guys got the most savage dads here. Yeah. Well, Notice how it's I all mean, dads? It's all dads. Yeah. yeah I, I think it is because none of us are female here except for you three guys. Yeah, <laughs> accurate. Right. No, but what I'm saying is... we still got a bigger dick than you. The dads relate to the sons, right? And the moms relate to the daughters. Exactly. Obviously. Yep. They know what's going on, right? So they, they can, they can communicate more efficiently. Yeah. Speaking of family members, okay. So I read this little headline today, and this jogged my memory a little bit because I don't know how I'd handle the situation. So I'm going to ask you guys. I'll read the headline, and then you guys tell me if if you could do this or not, Okay. An Ohio couple with three kids, they decided to pack their bags and move to a resort on the coast of Sangria Island to rid themselves of all technology and live an entire life, the rest of it, without it. So my question for you guys is, could you do it, let's say, even for a year? Move to an entire island, just you and your family, without any technology for a whole year or the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Could you do it? I think it would take some getting used to because we, we've all become so accustomed to our computers, our TVs, our phones. But in the sense that since we've been able to grow accustomed to the technical technological world, we can become accustomed to a world without technology again. It would no just more take time. phone calls. Yep. There's no nine one one. There's no. You're talking like straight up. Caveman. We would just go There's back nothing. to the it, primitive age. This is age. what they've done. Is they've moved yep. to rid themselves of anything electronic. So yep. you asked a specific question. Could could you? Could I? Yes. What I want Would to? You? Hell no. Okay. And if you did? Yeah. If I did? I, I don't know how I'd handle the situation. Like, I don't know how. Well, my whole thing is uh, I use technology for a lot of my entertainment, right? Making music, doing stuff on the computer, computer games, TV, videos, whatever. You don't get any of that, man. You're no. living straight up Neanderthal style. You would style. have to go and make your own type yeah. of entertainment, which... Yeah, okay, so let's say you did. What would you do? What would life be like? Jerk it's off. a lot door of... I yeah, think. but you got your family. Let's say you got three kids, like this Ohio They couple, can help. Uh, husband and wife, like... Timbo, what do you think? Uh, I think I'd be okay. Um, you know, obviously... Out of the four of us here, I've kind of roughed it the most out of all of us here. Um, I think it would be kind of peaceful and relaxing to kind of be off the grid and get some peace and quiet and, you know. So, there's no wash machine. There's no dishwasher. Is there there's, nearby water? There's a No well, running there's, water whatsoever. There's the river nearby the river. that you wash your clothes. Yeah, there is... Cool. Now this almost oh, comes man, back there's so to, much to this. No, there's, there's so a lot we're of back things, on the island. Yeah, this almost goes back to the question of the island. Would you survive on an island mm. if you were stranded there? But in this sense, what I'm assuming what happened to them is they had a place built for them, or they have a place, just no technology. Is well, that's what said. I was thinking. Yeah. So I'm assuming said, they already have a home. They already have all the necessities. They just don't have technology. Yeah, you said can you last for a year, and I said yeah. That's a vague I think that term. Kind of relaxing. Yeah. Like how much technology is like. Do they? Would you consider running yeah. water technology? You know what I'm saying? Probably should have did some more reading into this. <laughs> yeah. I just know from what I read a little yeah, bit. Because like, if it's just they like tried computers. to rid of all technology. So, so this is where I'm an asshole. Maybe a microwave was involved. This is where I'm a total prick because I'm thinking like the basics. Like no technology just means no internet and like electronics. And I don't want to no. live that way at all. So no technology or electronics and a life without it. So. I'm assuming no microwave. I guess I no could bring my acoustic machine. guitar. Can I play my acoustic guitar? 
That's sort of you yeah. could you could, could you make build your an, own. Could you build an acoustic guitar on an island? Yeah, <laughs> I, actually I guess we're think, back to this. I, 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 <laughs> not right off the bat. I could figure it out though. Yeah. I think. What the fuck would I use for strings though? Yeah. See, when I I Cubes. hear no like uh, electricity or anything or living off the grid or whatever, I think uh, like no technology like TVs or phones or yeah. anything like that. But I I still see like running water and a working stove and that sort of thing. Yeah, I, no. Okay, yeah, that's not okay. really technology, so, right? I would say. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's bust bust into a conversation of none of that. You, you don't get all the the nice things like a gas line or a water line. You have to use no the nearby river. So you have to use a well. You have and to use whatever. So you, yep. You're going camping for a year. Yeah, then. exactly. <laughs> Once again, that goes back. No, to you stranded. still get running water in campsites, <laughs> I don't, and you're probably bringing bottled water. I don't water. camp that rough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got power on my site. So yeah. I'm in a tent with a big bed. That, yeah. that goes back to being stranded on an island, right? Learning how to survive. Yeah, this time this I guess it's just with your family. But yeah. in their case, they had a place pre-built yeah. for them. They just didn't have all the necessities. Like you don't well, get a microwave. You don't. Well, get how about if like you that. brought like a shit ton of batteries and one of those turn crank radios? At least you have some sort of entertainment. So you don't. That's go still. I would put that on a thin line of whether or not that that works or not. Because yeah, again, I should have yeah. read more into that. But I think that's along the lines Ginger Badger was getting to there. Is. I think that's still technical. There's one thing I thought of, one upside to all of this. So if you were living like that, obviously you wouldn't be going to work. And you would be making your own hours. You'd have a lot of work and shit to do to survive, mm-hmm. but you'd be doing it at your own pace. Yep. You'd be doing it at your own True. peace. True. You know what I'm saying? You'd have your family to help out. Like, that might be nice. That might be serenity. Well, that's what me. I was saying. You know you're not that? getting up at 9 o'clock, making sure you're at work for this time and reporting. You know what I'm saying? You're just you're living I think it would be family. kind of relaxing. You know, like, uh, you, you asked, could I do it? For a year, you, you mentioned mm-hmm. a year. I think yeah, it'd be well, nice to be able. To, not, a year. It'd be I nice to be able to take a, a break, year. and everything just kind of calms down. It's it's quieter. Yeah, but and what about Bornhub? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we go back to uh, drawing titties in the sand, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> making mounds. You have to yeah. draw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, I get it. Next time, I will dive into that a little bit more in that headline to see exactly do they have fucking radios? Were they using microwaves? <laughs> Research. No. Is it really? Norse they code. Woke up on they have Norse code. The whole family got kidnapped and they woke up on a fucking island. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, is it us? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for this evening. <laughs> Be sure to check us out. 1HQ.ca. Yes. My dick is the only dick in this room. If you guys didn't know. Thank you for listening to a Time Well Wasted podcast. If you'd like to hear more, check us out at 1hq.ca slash podcast. And we'll see you next time, bitches.